Hello there, boys and girls. Today we have a short video about a new demo that just came out a few days back uh, for a game called Transients. Now, this game is being developed by Big Fry, who you might know uh, and follow even on YouTube. Uh, he does a lot of great content on tactical first-person shooters, first-person shooters in general, but mostly tactical-based ones. Uh, this is a new game he's been working on with a small team. Uh, this is trying to go back to more of the roots of single-player, stealth, tactical-driven uh, first-person shooters. Um, it, like I said, this is just a demo. You don't get to do a ton here, but it, I think it's pretty damn cool. In the Transients demo, we're gonna have access to a kill house and what is essentially a training facility where we're immediately met with a quick overview of the key binds and all of which I think are laid up pretty darn good. Um, this one's interesting though, lean and leaf uh, right left. I know, it's an easy fix, just had to poke fun at it because it was kind of funny when I read it. Uh, <laughs> you were dropped in the equipment room where you had the opportunity to select a weapon, um, all of which feel great, by the way. Um, the movement and the gun play all feels really, really nice. The only little thing that I noticed is that the gun audio itself is definitely lacking a bit. That's probably something that can get fixed fairly easily, um, depending on how they went about getting audio for the guns. But the fact that the guns feel as good as they do, and the fact that movement feels as smooth as it does, really is number one important. And I think they got a really, really good thing going as far as those kind of mechanics are concerned. Something else I think Transness is definitely hitting out of the park, or, or real close to hitting out of the park at the very least, is the way that you can customize your guns attachment loadouts. Um, this is If this looks sort of similar to you, well, it's going to probably remind you of Battlefield 2042 a little bit, um, which was Battlefield 2042's one thing that they did right from the start, the only thing they did right from the start, was this particular kind of setup and how you attached, uh, you put attachments on your weapon. So this game is definitely taking some inspiration from that model. Um, maybe some previous ones too, other than Battlefield 2042, but most recently that game is obviously some of this, this will remind you of. Now, a couple things I'll have to clean up. Um, some of the actual iron sights on the M5 gun particularly, not this one, but the M5, they're a little too high, so when you put a certain uh, sight on it, you can't actually see through the iron sights. They're just blocking the sight picture. Again, this is not a, a difficult fix, I don't think. Um, just little things. It's a demo. But all of the sight pictures that I looked at looked really nice. Uh, there are two different laser attachments as well. Technically, there's a laser attachment that you can switch green to red on the fly. There's canted shooting, which is fantastic. And overall, the gun art is just done very, very good. All right, right here, I'm just gonna let uh, a little bit of this play out. We're walking into the kill house now. There's a small uh, area down here that you can see that's gonna have AI enemies. And this is actually, maybe not procedurally generated, but it does change every time you go in, apparently, which is kind of neat. Uh, I thought the voice acting was actually pretty good by the enemy AI as well. And the enemy AI seems fairly competent. It's kind of difficult to tell 100% for sure just because you are in such a tight space. Oh, here but oh, here you go. Take a peek. Buddy, Fuck, they got him. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I, I, thought, <laughs> I, I do. I like the, uh, the voice work, uh, the enemy voice work. It's good. All right, let's. You're fucked now, buddy. Oh God. You're going down. All right, buddy. Oh. Come on, buddy. Uh, we we do have night vision as well. Almost forgot about that. Let's not forget. Oh, hey. Enemy right there. Okay, maybe a little too much. A little too much. Right there, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. All right. We got a med pen. Let's use that. Uh, Throw it away. We got a man down over here. There we go. So like I said, obviously it's a short demo. It's just a little playable to give you a taste of what's to come in the future. We don't know what the missions are gonna fully be like. We don't know the full story, but there is some hints to the lore uh, on the pay on the Steam page. So if you are interested in trying this out, I highly recommend going to Steam, finding Transients. It's a free download right now. Go check it out. I think this game has the potential to be a really fun addition to anyone's library, particularly if you feel 
there is just a lack of good, fun, first-person tactical FPS games out there. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your week.